right, everybody. So today we're going to be talking about two small diaphragm condenser microphones, also known as SDCs, which namely are the Octava MK012 with the cardio capsule and the Line Audio CM4. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to A, B between the two microphones. You'll see it up here somewhere as I go back and forth. Now, I do have the gain up considerably on both microphones since I'm not doing any post-processing. I'm just doing loudness normalization, which is basically just some gain to even things out. Other than that, you will hear no post-processing on either microphone. So the Octava MK012 with the cardio capsule on it is relatively wide known and is a very good microphone and great for indoor settings like this with you know hard surfaces everywhere reflections reverb and all that other kind of stuff the line audio cm4 is relatively unknown because it's a one-man operation from sweden but this is a great little mic especially since it's about half the price of the octava mk12 but i'll let you judge the difference between the two mics is the line audio cm4 just as good as the octava mk012 you be the judge and you let me know so a lot of times people will use a shotgun microphone like this indoors which is the rode ntg5 which is a fantastic microphone outdoors it's not a really great microphone for indoor shooting like this because as I'm talking or you're doing voiceover, the, my voice and the sound reflect off the table, the walls, the ceiling, and it comes in these side interference tubes at different times. So you get phase issues, you get reverb issues. So great mic, just not for indoors. So as we start going down and AB in between these mics, hopefully you can hear a difference because they're both pretty heavy flat frequency flat frequency response if I can talk which is pretty good and as you can see these are both going into a mix pre 3 gen 2 so pretty premium audio recorder and as you can see here I basically have it at the same level so the octava is at 53 decibels of gain and the line audio cm4 is at 57 decibels of gain now I know it's a lot but because I'm not doing post-processing, I want this to be loud enough that it's easily heard and can be easily detected if there's any differences between the two microphones. Right now, I may be a foot away from both microphones. I'm also going to try booming these microphones since they're SDCs or small diaphragm condensers. They're really good for indoors, talking head, voiceovers, and for booming. So I will give that a shot as well so you can hear what these sound like. And um, I did dynamic microphones before, which aren't great for booming because it's not that type of mic, but they're really good close up. So I'm tying these a little bit farther away to see which one I like better if I start booming these mics. And I really want to check out the Line Audio CM4 because I've heard a lot of good things about it. So let's go ahead and get out of this and I'll show you the waveforms. So uh, stand by and uh, let's move over. Thanks. All right, everybody, so here we are taking a look at the waveforms for the Octava MK012 and the Line Audio CM4. And as you can see, not much difference between the two. The big difference is how do they sound? So that's what we're trying to get at for this video. So let me go ahead and get out of this. All right, so we're back and now I have both mics overhead just out of frame here you might even be able to see them a little bit so they're about two feet away from my mouth now and i had to crank one crank each one up about four decibels from where i was because it's so much farther away it's about two feet now instead of six or seven inches and this is how it sounds so we'll a b back between the two of these and see how they sound the Octava, I cranked up to about 57 decibels, and the CM4, Line Audio CM4, I cranked up to about 62 decibels. 
Again, I would never crank them this high up normally, but I want you to hear if there's any differences since I'm not doing any post-processing to any of the audio. So this is how it sounds boomed about two feet away, just above my head. And we'll go ahead and get out of this. So stand by and uh, we'll move over. Thanks. All right, everybody. So we went through these both microphones, the Octava MK012 and the Line Audio CM4. What do you think? Now I'm gonna cop out and say these are both fantastic microphones. But the Line Audio CM4 for its price point, which is half of the Octava MK012, you know, maybe 250 by itself. And the Line Audio CM4, when you convert it to the Swedish Krona, if I'm saying that correctly, it's about $125, which is a great price point for such a fantastic little microphone. Now the build quality is not up to par to like an Octava because this is a one man operation in Sweden, but it's still metal and it's still great. It's just not that high quality metal like you have on the Octava or other brands. So just that one little nitpick and drawback. But other than that, these are both fantastic microphones. You cannot go wrong using either one for voiceover or some sort of indoor shooting. The weakness of SDCs is humidity. So if you go outside on high humid days, that's where these could run into problems getting humidity and moisture in the capsules. And then you get snap, crackle, pop, and so much for your audio. Hopefully you learned a little bit or at least found this entertaining. I just want to say thank you, everybody, for watching and listening. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great day or night, everybody. Happy shooting. Thank you. Bye.